To create shiny text inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, this is what you have to do. So we are going to go to the T icon and we're first of all just going to create some text. So Brooker Films, I'm going to make this nice and bold to that text, that shiny text effect really comes through. There we go. And then you want to select your color of choice. Now, just a word of warning, the way this shiny effect works is we're going to add another layer on top, which is brighter than this layer. And then we'll add some feathering and all sorts of stuff to make it shine. So if you want a white text, I would advise making this just a little bit darker. So it's a very light gray rather than a white because it makes all the difference. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to make a copy of this. So we'll go Command C, Command V. That's going to copy and paste or alternatively, if you're on Mac, you can hold the option button down and drag that up and then release. And I believe on Windows that is Alt, but don't quote me on that. I believe it is Alt there. And now from here, we can go into the fill and we can change this to a perfect white. So this is 100% FFFFFF on this hex code here. So if I turn them on and off, you can see they're just a little bit different. Now from here, with this video layer 2 selected, we're going to go to motion, opacity, free draw bezier, and we're just going to draw a mask around the middle, something like this. This doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to add some feathering here like this. Then we'll go through to the start of the video. We'll drag this over to the left, create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. Then we'll go five seconds over and we'll drag that to the very end. Now I'm going to make this bottom one a little bit darker just so it's more visible. There you go. It's really shining through. And then on this one, I'm actually going to add a blur so that it creates a glow. So I'm going to search for a Gaussian blur. I think that's how you pronounce it. Was it Gaussian? Gaussian? I don't know. I'm going to go with Gaussian. We're going to drag that onto video layer two anyway. And then we're just going to increase the blurriness. And as you can see, we're really getting that shine effect coming through. Now you can go really intense with it, but I prefer it to be subtle. I like it to be a nice glow. Great, so from this point, I'm going to add some directional blur on a new layer. So I'm going to copy video layer two, paste that up onto three. Now we're gonna delete the Gaussian, Gaussian blur. <laughs> I'm gonna search for directional blur, add this onto video layer three. We'll increase the blur length and we're going to change the direction to 90 because we're traveling from side to side. We want the blur to be side to side. We're really going to increase that blur length and we're also going to go into the mask and we're going to increase the expansion. We'll increase the feather and then we're just going to pull down the opacity because we want this to be really subtle. The, the point of this isn't to be really noticeable. As you can see by adding that, that's really shining through. Cool. I think that's great. So now you can just highlight everything, right click, nest. We can name this shiny text if you would like, but you don't have to. And now this is in its own pre-composition. You can play with the scale. You can animate this so you can add a nice scale in effect over time and your shiny effect is happening. But that is the shiny text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro now complete. So thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and please, if you would, please consider subscribing. It really does help the channel. Thank you very much.